Hello everyone, my name is Jose Delgado, I'm a corporate commercial attorney. A topic we're discussing today is, as an estate agent, how does the Consumer Protection Act affect you? All right, pretty much uh, it's not a new piece of legislation anymore, but it is intended to govern the rights of consumers where uh, a party is dealing with an individual person or a juristic person that has got assets or turnover under 2 million rand. Uh, as an agent, of course, you are providing services in the form of estate agent advice, uh, drawing up contracts, um, advising around the properties, uh, market conditions, neighborhoods, etc., etc. So very often you'll find that as an estate agent, you're in the firing line in the event that there could be a claim by either a seller or generally a purchaser who may be disgruntled. So very often uh, you may think that being the party that's just in the middle of this transaction, you are not liable. Of course, you can indemnify yourself uh, and put certain uh, provisions and conditions in your mandate or alternatively in the purchase sale contract or the offer to purchase as it's often called to try and mitigate any claims that you may be uh, susceptible to or exposed to. Uh, also very often, um, there's a direct relationship between a seller and a purchaser and you as a state agent aren't directly involved in that contract as a third party who stands to benefit from commissions, etc. But just be aware of a, a principle in the Consumer Protection Act, it's called the Supply Chain Management Liability. And in effect, what this gives the consumer is the right to sue anybody in the chain that has provided the goods or the services. So perhaps the purchaser will sue the seller and you as the agent in the event that something goes awry or they're not happy or there's some form of a claim. So just be sure to either try and indemnify yourself uh, from those type of provisions.